Hey guys, so welcome to live session with Steve. So today we're going to be going through a country folk rock song. So uh, with this one, we um, it's pr pretty easy for me to do because I'm a guitarist. So I've done so many of these, but they keep getting requested for them all the time. And so, um, so I'm just going to show you exactly what I do and just some of the elements that you need. Uh, you know, you want to be you want to be good, but you want to be fast too. You don't want to be like just layering just more and more sounds and sounds. Because a lot of these cues, I call them instrumental cues, uh, a lot of them are, are background music. They're, they're setting a tone. They're setting a um, an emotion for the scene. You know, people are watching, whether it be a sports show, their favorite sport thing. They're not going there to watch, listen to your music. Your music supports the scene that they're uh, they're they're. Uh, that they're going to watch if it's surfing then you're you're there to watch surfing not uh hear the music and the music is just a bonus so um a lot of the times we don't need to be fancy with a lot of stuff we just need to get the job done just give it the emotion and when we've got the emotion make it clean and tighten it up and and wrap it up and get on and send it out the door get it signed and move on to the next one and then and that enables enables us to just keep doing it over and over and over again and um and then when we want to do our passion project we are just so much better because we've had all this practice and uh, and it gives you the free time to be able to do those passion projects. Anyway, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, this is how you do it. I've got a, um, uh, oops, moving this around here. All right, make sure we're on the one. All right, so let me shrink this. Uh, I have a, um, Drink it a bit more. I have a little document here that I've put put up. Just the the main keys or the main things that you got to look for when you're recording these parts. Country folk rock cue is what we're going to do. So B, BPMs are about one about 90 to 120. So keep around that range. Um, uh, it's going to the drums need to be organic. It needs to sound like a real drum kit. You got to think of the country and folk is kind of like uh, it's more earth, earthy sounds. They're more, um, more country. They're more uh, out there in the dirt and the grass, and the uh, it's the opposite of a city. You know, it's more folksy. So you've got to keep, make sure, definitely keep it on that organic side. Um, you know, think those kind of elements. Uh, acoustic guitars, definitely lots, lots of guitars. Acoustic guitars, uh, strums and finger picking. Um, I think I'm going to just do a, a strumming kind of one, and then I might do some finger picking. Actually, might use some just a pick. Uh, but either one, I might even show you another one, a few that I've done just to see the ideas that uh, this one is track number nine. Um, I'm going to do a 10, 10 track album here, it's 10 track. Uh, yeah, album. So I got two more to go. But so the electric guitars, maybe open chords, um, some picking parts. I don't want it to be heavy on the electric, but I do want to add some nice elements there. And that that definitely makes it that hybrid of the of the rock because country and folk is, is a, not quite rock, but um, adding an electric element definitely brings it into the rock world. So it's kind of like a, um, a uh, it's a hybrid or a, a mashup, I guess you'd say. So strings, if we do any uh, strings or organ parts, um, I, I often like in my arrangements to have like percussive parts where acoustic guitars strumming, maybe electric guitars doing some busy things, uh, some picking, but I like strings or organs or pads as a kind of a um, a washing kind of thing where they're long held notes, they're they're longer things, and so I might put organs on this. If you did, um, you could do a pad thing, but you're if you do the pad thing, you really are heading away from uh, organs. Is probably the one you want. Maybe strings, but organs is organs is a good one. I use organs a lot. Um, if you use strings, you know, think you can think like fiddle. Or uh, that kind of thing, which is which is a definitely a folksy kind of sound. But then, when I think fiddle, I'm thinking a lot of a lot of intricate notes. I'm keep I'm thinking it's going to be busy, um, kind of like doing lots of sixteenths or eighths notes. Uh, and that's probably what the strumming is going to be doing on the acoustic guitar. So I'm I'm choosing to do more. Um, you know, I'm not a string player. I'm a guitarist. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be heavy on those guitar sides. Uh, the emotion is. Uh, motion and feels uh, is light-hearted, fun, upbeat, uh, country. That's not even um, really an emotion, but it's a feel. You know, having that 
uh, just thought process of like you know it's got to sound it's got to sound you know like uh, really rootsy or whatnot. All right, cool. Let's dive in, and you'll kind of hear what um, what I'm doing, and uh, we'll we'll see if we can knock out the ideas, the um, the arrangement of this. And uh, if you if you've watched any of my videos, A B A all day long. So we're gonna do an A section, then we're gonna do a B section, and then we're gonna do, go back to an A A section um, with a little little bumper or something a little bit different on that, something just to. Make sure it you know it really wraps up, and then we're going to finish on that first chord, on the root chord, and then you'll find that when I've I've done so many of these that I can feel that what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of play the one mode for the one idea or chord progression over that first 16 measures, um, and and then um, I'm going to add elements as we go. So I won't start with the bass. I'll add bass after the second time round. So it just just constantly keep keeps growing. Um, I think it'll be 16 measures. I'm, I'm kind of guessing here. Okay, so this is what I do. I always play to the drums. So let's find some drums. Let me put my headphones on. All right, let's find some drums here. Um, I want four on the floor. Oops. What do we got? We got a vintage, vintage kit. Let's go to an indie. Let's see what this sounds like. Where we go if we go to indie. Maybe we'll do roomy. I'll see what that is. Just coming up with a groove there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that that groove in here. All right, something happened there. All right, so then we can just, um, all right, so we're just gonna find, these are the grooves that came up. I like that. Um, uh, let's, but I don't wanna do that the whole time. I wanna do that this maybe the second section. That those are the two parts I'm going to pick. So we're going to start off with um, this one, a bit more simpler. So uh, I'm looking at the timeline here, and that's actually pushing 146. So I've got a bit of room to play. Um, this section in the middle might be a bit too long, doing the extra um, toms. Oh, there it is. That's the one. That might be a bit long. Um, how many measures we got? One, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. I know these ones are eight. So that would be 16. We might even be able to just go to 12 or something. Um, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, somewhere there. And then we can, that cuts up a little bit of time. Because one thing I'm thinking, I'm not worried too much about it, but we'll just see how it works. But um, 30s are often get requested. So this makes it really easy. If I, if it's 103 here, that's where I start the next, the, going back to that A section. Um, we finish here at 137. So I could wrap up, just move it a little bit earlier, or you could actually even do this, just uh, change the tempo. Um, to 115. Now that makes it a little bit shorter. So finish at 133, starts there at 117, or oh, starts there at 52. But that's yeah, that's almost the same. I'm, I'm going to keep it at 110. All right. So that, let's just see how that goes. So we've got eight 16 measures there. We've got 16 measures at the end, and then we have about 12 measures in the middle. So we'll just see how that goes. Uh, of course, we're going to come back and change that. That's just uh, somewhere we can kind of start playing to the drums, the groove. All right, testing, testing. That one's working. Let's grab my acoustic guitar because that's going to be the, one of the main instruments. As you guys can see, I usually a simple place to record is about the 12th fret or 14th fret where the body of the guitar meets the neck. So right around there, you know, where it kind of all that wood is, that's a great place just to kind of put, it's not too bassy, it's not in front of that hole. So. All right, first thing we do is tune up. So as I was playing the guitar parts there, I, it felt good to do that. 
um, uh, to do to do it in kind of there. And uh, I was looking at the time a little bit, and you can kind of and kind of see that my ring out there is 134, so that actually makes a perfect one and a half minute track. Um, as I said, we're not aiming for that, but if it works, if we kind of have a bit of a guideline, hey, it works. So that's just a rough one. Um, I do like this kind of uh, down section. It's very kind of, it's, it's just in there a little bit. So we have the, the first section, the A section, and then we have bass come in for the A section point two. Then we have, um, we go to another level where it's uh, kind of, the B, the B section is actually louder. It's gonna be a big B section, big, bigger, strong, bigger and stronger, more more things happening and really busy. And then we drop down for like a, uh, a, a B section point two for a drop down for point two. Then we go back to the A section. So you can kind of see there's many different kind of ways to do that. All right, let's do another one now. Try and get a little bit tighter this time. Um, make sure we get a little bit tighter. All right, there we go. mistake there and this first one's a little bit too fast I need to pull that down actually let's not even let's just mute that <laughs> did something else there. What did I do? Uh, not quite sure. I'm not sure if I wrote anything there. I might go... I'll go to a G. Gonna get a little bleed of all that kind of stuff there so um, I like that drum thing yeah that's right so I'm gonna just drag that over here three measures before and then we finish oh it should be there all right so let's automate that click now so that click gets out of the way as well so any of the, I won't get any bleed, there's nothing there to bleed, so um, unless something happens in the um, siren or, or a creak in the floorboard or something. So I'm just going to redo that or, or duplicate it, because I didn't do, I, on that first take, it was, I went to a different note, so I'm going to redo that there. Thank you. 
All right, there's my spare. All right, let's do another one. Third time's lucky. I think this. I think. Uh, I think we'll have it on this one. It's pretty simple strumming. Simple chords. There you go. Oh, got me talking. I'm just going to do that last chord again. Alright, cool. Um, I might redo that top one. I'm just gonna do one more take of it because it's only gonna take me one and a half minutes, and um, I've got a spare.
There we go. Save it. All right, so I think that middle one I'm going to um, drop out. So, so we want one pan left, one pan right. And we'll turn them down to about, I don't know, turn them down just a bit. So, all right, so let's just uh, trim that or, oops, mute. So we have a spare down the bottom um, and we are good to go. Let me just have a look at this real quick. That was something weird there. So let's, let's move this over here. Oops. Let's move it to here somewhere. See if that's better. Yeah, it's better. Um, we might come back and uh, tweak that a bit, clean that up just a little bit more. All right, so now we're going to do, um, uh, I'm going to do one other guitar part that's, um, let me duplicate that so I can do a double. When we get to that big part, I might do, do a, an accent where it's like, So that's fine. Um, just chop off that a little bit, clean it. All right, let's just color them. It's a lot quicker to color. And type up the names. All right, so that's a different part. We can definitely see it, and I can know that that's a different part. So let's go over to base now. Um, I'm going to put some base down. <clears throat> I think we're done with the microphone. All right, 
right, so bass, we are going to do, uh, let me tune up first. All right, so the bass, I'm going to play pretty straight with the, uh, the drums there. So let's turn up the drums just a bit more. Turn the acoustics down a bit more. Make sure it's all working. A bit too much level. Good level. All right, so um, these guys need to be panned and turned down. The bass was all making mistakes. I was figuring out what I'm doing. All right, so I want to go dent down. Actually, that's where I want to do the doubles or I think that's great. Let's see, uh, do a quick, quick, quick little edit here. Double check we um, have it. Uh, one thing you'll notice that I'm making decisions on the fly. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing tons and tons of parts and then trying to make a decision later. I'm making a decision on the fly right now. It's like, Okay, I'm going to double that part there, and I can always just go back and grab the other take. That's always a, I mean, I can always go back and re-record a part or do something different. But a lot of the time, it's it's about making those little decisions all along the way and not waiting, not leaving it all up for the end. Uh, I think we got it. 
Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, let's go and do some electrics. I got a Telecaster here. Um, I'm not going to do too much electric stuff. Um, got to tune up. Yeah, this guitar is great. It has something called a um, uh, Evertune bridge, and it stays in tune really good. And it's uh, yeah, this is a great, great guitar. I like this one. All right, let's give. We're gonna make sure we find a decent sound. Uh, something I've been using a lot is Chris Lord Algae. It's great. It's a really good guitar. Um, just even stock like that is just, just it's great, you know. Well, I'm gonna make sure I give myself a a bus. It's gotta to go to an auxiliary channel or a bus group. And I need to listen to that group. So I'm, I don't know if I'll play at the beginning. too clean. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. I like that a lot. Whatever that was. I think I like that. Sort of, it's kind of ringing out. I might not even need an organ because it's kind of has that organish kind of sound. Um, take this off. Actually, I'll, I'll do that later. That picking part later. Now those levels are pretty low on the electric. They're too, they're too low. I shouldn't. I should be recording them louder. So I'm just going to turn up the preamp a little bit. Double that. So one thing I cut off 
one thing I cut on that first take is is I wanted it to ring out. It stops right there, but I wanted it to ring out. So I'm just going to do that again there. Straight into that other chord, so straight into that F chord, which is what we're going to do the picking now. Second take. Alright, we're gonna do something a little different there because it's the, it's the next, it's the second A section. Copy that guitar sound down. Should we do? Yeah, I like that. See if I can repeat that.
All right, let's do that again now. So let's just do that, that one. Oops. There we go, just do that. So um, now I just want to create a quick little melody, something I can just mute um, and do a no melody version of the song. So something simple. There we go. So we have all the parts down. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's change that color. So yeah, so I'll do, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video, a second part video. Actually, this will be a three part series. 
Second part will be a quick one of just editing, no mixing, just editing, getting everything tight. It'll be a quick little video. And then, um, yeah, and then uh, we will do the live session with the mixing. So hopefully that helps, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, later.